Hey Libras, who's coming in for single Libras? Today is for singles. Who's coming in for single Libras? Who's coming in for you? We have Venus, Libra, <laughs> your energy. Okay, Jupiter could be a Sag. And then we have Mars, <clears throat> could be an Aries. So we have all planets here. I feel someone with a very dominating personality. Look, this, yeah, it could definitely be a Sagittarius. For some of you coming in, if you've already been dealing with the Sagittarius, I'm not talking about that person. I'm saying, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying. If you've already been in a relationship with someone, I do not feel that energy. I feel like it could be a new Sagittarius coming in for some of you. Okay, we do have the energy of Venus, so it could be a fellow Libra or someone with that in their chart. The energy of Jupiter, Sag, and then the energy of Mars, Aries. So this is, I feel like, a very dominating personality. Fire sign energy coming through strong. So this person could be very athletic. I'm being drawn to all of the, the physique in these cards. <laughs> I just want to show you, look, look at the physique. Okay, male or female, doesn't matter. I'm being drawn to the physique on all of these cards. <clears throat> Even in Venus, like the physique is very sexy, very alluring. And so this person could be very athletic or very into their fitness, into their body or health in some type of way. This could be a personal trainer or someone who just believes in taking care of their body. They could be into sports as well. They could play sports themselves or just be into watching sports, an avid sports sports watcher or going to like games or something like that is what I'm feeling. Someone could be very into cars as well. Um, I feel like this is a person who <clears throat> they will be like in your face. Like they, <laughs> they have a big personality and uh, a very direct person is what I'm getting. There's something about the energy of Mars that I'm being drawn to and Mars just went direct um, for for us here in astrology. And so I feel like this person, there's something that's just very direct about them. This is the person that will walk up to you and be like, hey, I like you. Hey, I want to be with you. Hey, do you want to dance with me? Hey, cutie. Hey, sexy. Like this is that kind of person. This is not a shy person, not a person who's going to back down. Um, so if you're on more on the shy side, um, I feel like this person will kind of help balance you out. Um, if that's the dynamic. Okay. Who is this person <clears throat> coming in for single Libras, divine spirit, Holy spirit. Show me this person. Who are they? Who are they? Who's coming in? For single Libra, who's coming in? We have the five of pentacles here. We have the will of fortune. We have the chariot. Someone who's going from rags to riches. I just got that so clearly in my mind. Rags to riches. Could be a cancer for some of you. Someone is going from, it could be an Aquarius. Someone is turning into a star. I don't know who you're dating, but this is someone who came from like a poor background. Um, when you talk to this person, they will let you know. <clears throat> I didn't have much. I didn't have much money. Uh, me and my family, we struggled. There's something about financial struggles or this person could have even been homeless. But the will of fortune, fortune is turning. This person could make a fortune now. And have stepped into this energy of Pharaoh. Okay. When you get the <clears throat> chariot, it's like the Pharaoh is on his chariot with the sphinxes right here. It's very kingly. It's very queenly, very princely. That Pharaoh energy. Okay. So I feel like someone's luck has changed or turned. So this person will have like a, a really cool story <clears throat> is what I'm getting. Show me. Hanging man, it could be a Pisces. Show me this person. Their perspectives have changed. Tower on how life has like completely fallen apart is what I'm getting with the tower here. Scorps energy, the nine of wands. Yeah, this person could have went through something extremely devastating. Oh, I feel it very strongly. <clears throat> Six of wands, but they came out victorious in something. Yes. And this gave this person, Ace of Wands, a new spark for life. This person, I don't, I don't know who this person is. 
I can only see the energy of the cards. It'll be different for all of you, but I feel like someone is coming in who's really an overcomer, someone who's truly a survivor. Um, I'm feeling like with this tower and the nine of wands, I'm feeling like someone who could have went through something, maybe they were even injured, okay? Maybe they came through something like an explosion or a fire or something like that is what I'm getting. Um, but this person uh, made it through, they, they somehow recovered, and now they're able to start something so exciting in life. Like, whoa, this person has like a new lease on life. Yeah, just look at these cards. Wow. Ten of Swords. They could have even lost a home. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups. Now they're getting their wishes fulfilled from something that was very sad in their past. And the star is here. And this could be uh, someone who takes your life to the next level, Libra. They could really help you to see things differently as far as your worldview or your perspectives on things. Anything else Libra should know. Seven of Pentacles. King of Swords, this could be an air sign. This could be someone from your past for some of you or someone you already know. It doesn't have to be an ex, okay? Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, <clears throat> Two of Cups. Wow. This person has been through a lot, a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. But again, I feel like this person will tell you that they've overcome something. I'm feeling something with surgery as well. With the Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, something was very painful. Some of you, if you work in the medical field, you may meet this person. They may be one of your patients or <laughs> a client. You know, you may meet this person um, during like some type of like uh, therapy. What do you call that? Um, yeah, like when someone... Uh, has to learn how to walk again or something like that. Not, not saying that they are completely like disabled, but I'm feeling like someone is going to have a success story. This is a success story. Wow. How will Libra respond to this person? How will Libra respond? Eight of swords. You may have a little bit of fear here and nervousness. Two of swords. You may be like, oh, I don't know. Queen of swords. Yeah. So you're going to have your guard up. You're going to be thinking you're in your energy of the queen of swords. You're going to be overthinking this. Like, should I connect with this person? Should I really, you know, open up to this person? Yeah. So you don't know. You're going to have to think about it. <clears throat> okay. You're going to have to think about it. Um, but that'll be up to you. It'll be up to you. What's going on with this person or what would they want to say to Libra? I am building a business entrepreneur. Yeah. Need I say more? <laughs> Hard worker, not lazy. Yeah. Uh-huh. And trust issues. Will you hurt me? <clears throat> I feel like this person has uh, had a tough enough life already. And even though they feel the two of cups with you, there still will be some, uh, you know, questions of will Libra hurt me? Is Libra serious about me? Will Libra want a relationship? Um, but I feel like that's very minute. I don't feel like anything, there's anything heavy here that would suggest this person is being deceptive or anything like that. I just feel like they've been through a lot. Um, not just with like love, but I'm feeling more so like I was saying in the whole reading in their life, they've been through a lot. This person will have overcome something very hard in their life. And this is a very hard worker. And I feel like they have gone from rags to riches in some type of way. Give me some letters for this person. The letter M is coming through. The letter C is coming through. I just got Calvin, Cody, Mariah. The letter T is coming through. The letter Y, the letter O, and the, the letter N, the letter G at the bottom of the deck. When can Libra expect this person? Tuesday could be significant. The month of May and the month of October could be significant. Alrighty, Libras, that is your energy for singles. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. Take care. Bye.